Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. A 17 year old was allegedly playing with the loaded gun when he shot and killed an 18 year old woman on Saturday in South Harris County. Investigators say Zachorian Batiste, 17 years old, has been charged with manslaughter in connection to the shooting death of Naraya Champion, 18 years old, and is currently booked into the Harris County Jail record shows. Batiste went before a judge on Sunday where he was given a $50,000 bond. Batiste will be placed on house arrest if the bond is made, except for going to and from high school. Naraya Champion's parents, Jonathan Champion and Keisha Shields, told ABC 13 they want to see a harsher punishment and one other adults in the apartment at the shooting to be held accountable. She was just 18, a baby, Jonathan Champion said. We will never understand what she went through in her last moments, but from my understanding, she was suffering because she was choking on her own blood. At about 10 a.m., Harris County Precinct 7 deputies responded to a shooting at an apartment complex in the 3500 block of South Sam Houston Parkway East. Upon arrival, people in the apartment with Naraya Champion were taking her to a local hospital after being shot in the abdomen. Authorities say the group crashed Naraya Champion's car and a good Samaritan transported her to a local hospital where she was pronounced dead. HCSO Homicide and Crime Scene Unit responded to the scene to conduct the investigation. Investigators say Batiste was playing with a loaded handgun when it discharged, striking the 18-year-old. Shill said her daughter was looking forward to prom and high school graduation. She wanted to be a lawyer and planned to attend Blinn College and transfer to Howard University. This kid will run from trouble, Shill said. I'm telling you she's going to run because this is what she wanted to be. She wanted to be a lawyer. She didn't want to get into any trouble. That's just her. So I just want the truth to come of it, come out of it. I want the truth. Jonathan Champion said the family is heartbroken and they want justice for Naraya Champion. Out of everyone that was in the room, she was the one who got shot. It could have been any other one of those kids. It's heartbreaking. I hate that this happened. But I just want these kids to know that guns are nobody's friends. Jonathan Champion said, guns don't hurt people. People hurt people, and by them playing with the loaded gun, that's insane. When you pull a pistol and it's loaded, you mean to kill somebody, not play with somebody. Exactly. And see, that's the problem. What they're trying to do is say it's the gun laws. No, no y'all want to change the gun laws. So y'all could run into people's house, their residence, take from them so you can have more of these things happening where you can have people unarmed, where you could just detain them and hurt them for no reason. But in this case, this is the person's fault for why you would be playing with guns. You don't play with guns, okay? You don't play with guns. You leave guns alone. Guns weren't made to play with. Okay? Now, this is, um, let's see. And I feel sorry for the young girl who lost her life. Um, to me, that's very messed up, and I hope her parents can get through it. Now, let's see. Now, also in the news, FD, um, the U.S. government on Thursday, the U.S. government on Thursday released its long-awaited plan to ban menthol cigarettes and flavored cigarettes, citing the toll on black smokers and young people. 
The proposed rules would help prevent children from becoming the next generation of smokers and help adult smokers quit, said Health and Human Services Secretary Xavier Becerra in a statement, or Becerra. He added that the ban would also be an important step to advance health equity by reducing disparities in tobacco-related diseases. The Food and Drug Administration said eliminating menthol cigarettes could prevent between 300,000 and 650,000 smoking deaths over 40 years. Menthols account for more than a third of cigarettes sold in the U.S., and the mint flavor is flavored by black smokers and young people. Menthol's cooling effect has been shown to mask the throat harshness of smoking, making it easier to start and harder to quit. The FDA said it will also seek to ban menthol and dozens of other flavors like grape and strawberry from cigars, which are increasingly popular with young people, especially black teens. The agency's proposals on both cigarettes and cigars are only initial drafts and are unlikely to be finalized before next year. Companies would then have one additional year to phase out their products. Tobacco industry lawsuits could delay the prohibit prohibition for several more years according to experts for now fda leaders said they will take comments for two months and then proceed as exp expeditiously as possible altria which sells menthol cigarettes and flavored cigars said it disagree with the ban taking these products out of the legal marketplace will push them into unregulated criminal markets the company said in a statement we will continue to engage in this long-term regulatory process the FDA has attempted several times to get rid of menthol, but faced pushback from big tobacco members of Congress and competing political interests under both Democratic and Republican administrations. Regulators have been under legal pressure to issue a decision after anti-smoking and civil rights groups sued the FDA for unreasonably delaying action on earlier requests to ban menthol. Menthol is the only cigarette flavor that was not prohibited under the 2009 law that gave the FDA authority over tobacco products, an exemption negotiated by industry lobbyists. The act did, though, instruct the agency to continue to weigh a ban. To date, the FDA has yet to eliminate any traditional tobacco product, though it has had that authority for over a decade. Last April, the Biden administration pledged to try to ban menthol within the year, responding in part to black American groups who say menthol has led to lower quit rates and higher rates of death among black people. Menthols are used by 85% of black smokers. Black folks die disproportionately of heart disease, lung cancer, and stroke, said Philip Gardner of the African American Tobacco Control Leadership Council. Menthol cigarettes and flavored cigars are the main vectors of those diseases in the black and brown communities and have been for a long time. In 2020, Gardner's group and several others sued to compel the FDA to make a decision on a ban. More than 12% of Americans smoke cigarettes, with rates roughly even between white and black populations. In 2019, more than 18 million Americans smoked menthol cigarettes, with higher rates among young people, African Americans, and other racial groups. According to the FDA, menthol smoking declined among white teenagers between 2011 and 2018, but not among black and Hispanic youth, the agency noted. Thursday's proposal would not apply to electronic cigarettes, including leading brands like Juul and Voos, which come in menthol. The FDA has been conducting a separate review of vaping products and has so far authorized a handful of tobacco-flavored products from smaller manufacturers. The FDA made several efforts to begin eliminating menthol cigarettes under both the Obama and Trump administrations, but had never previously released a formal roadmap of how to accomplish the ban. This is the first time there's been support from an administration, said Mitch Zeller, who recently retired after nine years leading FDA's tobacco center. If these rules are finalized, they become the law of the land and it becomes illegal for menthol cigarettes and flavored cigars to be sold. In recent weeks, dozens of interest groups for and against the ban met with Biden administration officials to try and influence the proposed rules, which would wipe out billions in tobacco sales. 
conservative and civil rights groups that accept tobacco funding warned officials that banning could menthol could result in increasing policing in black communities. While acknowledging those concerns, FDA Commissioner Robert Khalif stressed that the agency's rules would target companies, not smokers. These measures and related enforcement would be on the tobacco industry, not individuals who possess or use these products, Khalif told reporters. For decades, tobacco companies focused menthol advertising and promotions in black communities, sponsoring music festivals and neighborhood events. Industry documents released via litigation show companies view menthol cigarettes as a good starter product because they were more palatable to teens. Menthol's elimination would be a huge blow to tobacco companies, including Reynolds American, which sells the leading menthol brands, Newport and Cool. With the slow decline of smoking, tobacco companies have been diversifying into alternative products, including electronic cigarettes and tobacco pouches. But those ventures still account for a tiny slice of industry sales. Um, the Associated Press Health and Science Department received support from the Howard Hughes Medical Institute's Department of Science Education. The AP is solely responsible for all content. You can follow Matthew Perrone on Twitter at AP underscore FDA writer. So basically, of course, um, there, there, there's, there's a lot still going on in smoking in black, com black and Hispanic communities because black and Hispanic communities are basically going through a lot of transgressions. But the blacks are mainly targeted because why they've taken everything out of school. They've taken our schools away. They've taken education away. They've taken our after school programs away. So it's easier to sell the cigarettes and menthol to them as it is to white people. Because white people have other things that they're able to do. You know, that's why it declined in their communities because they wanted to make sure as many of them aren't dying because they're already the minority. They're already losing a lot of whites in the, in the nations and all over the world. Whites are decreasing every day. It's more blacks and Hispanics than them because it doesn't matter if you mix with a white person, it, that, that dominant color takes over. So they're losing a lot of their people and a lot of their color out there. See, it's about colorism, control, and 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 um, where you making your money at. So this ain't gonna be easy. I mean, yeah, you could try to take it away, but them tobacco companies make way too much money. They're not finna just stop selling menthols, and that's that's just facts. So that's enough for the HDZ news report today. Let me know what you guys think about both of the stories. Rest in paradise to the woman Naraya champion. I hope her family gets justice and I hope they get to the bottom of this incident. And um and I just don't believe even with the FDA and all that, the administration Biden need to worry about getting us our reparations and shit. All this lying he's saying, talking about he for black people, but see see they need us when they need to get put in office. But then when they get to office, they don't help us for nothing. <laughs> so thank you guys for listening. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if y'all love what y'all hear, y'all can go to the description box. Hit that link to my cash app where you guys can um, donate whatever you um whatever um your heart desire. You also can super chat as well as um not only super chats, you guys can um super thanks now. So thank y'all for listening. We out. Deezy. Deezy. Deezy.